Hey everyone, thanks for joining me tonight. Uh, tonight I'm going to show you how to do a free form uh, either geode or some coasters. Um, so here's an example of some that I already made. So these are made with resin and I've finished off the sides with some gold paint marker. So these are great little coasters made out of resin. There's no silicone mold that I used. I made it myself. Uh, same with these blue ones over here. I also made these myself. So again, no silicone mold at all. I just used the silicone in the caulking gun. So these are also finished in silver paint marker. So that is what I'm going to show you tonight. So I'll put these aside. So what I did was I went to the local hardware store and picked up, um, it's just vinyl plastic. Um, I've heard some people use shower curtains. Um, this was very inexpensive. I think it was uh, $3.99 for a foot. So I've cut it up. Um, and I've just taken a Sharpie and I've drawn a design of my coaster. You can do whatever design you want. And then you need one of these and then you need a tube of silicone. Um, I had previously bought a different brand uh, and it smelled so strong that here in my basement I got so dizzy with the smell so obviously I didn't pick up the right stuff. Um, and I saw someone on, on Instagram who used this. I uh, can't remember their name at the moment, but I'll post it, uh, a link to their Instagram in the comments, in the info below. But what you wanna use is uh, silicone. Uh, this one in particular, it's uh, water resistant, it's clear. It's gotta be 100% silicone. This one says kitchen, bath, tile, countertop. Uh, it's good because it's ready in about 30 minutes, which is great because you need to do two layers of this. So it's good to be able to do a layer, walk away for about an hour or so, and then come back. Um, so yeah, this is really good stuff and it doesn't smell at all, which is great. So what you wanna do is just simply follow the trace the line that you traced and that's it and just go around doesn't have to be perfect obviously if you go off the line it's really no big deal okay and there's one, so I did a little extra squiggle there, which I'll fix later. So we will do the next one. Okay. I can do the rest, but I think you get the gist of it. Um, I've also done some geodes. So just a big squiggly line with a hole in the middle. So I'll be doing those as well. So once this is dry, or you could even just go ahead and add a second coat right on top right away. So let's try that with this one. Trying carefully to get this second layer on top of the first layer. And just like that, it's done. So what else? The other thing I learned again off YouTube and asking questions is, 
So this is all a little rigid, you know, you might want to smooth it out. So if you touch it with your fingers, it's going to stick. So you don't want it sticking to your fingers. So what I learned is all you need is a little dish soap. And you want to dip your finger in the dish soap like this and then just run your fingers across the outside and the inside just to smooth out the top layer with the bottom layer. Maybe use two fingers like this. And you can mold it. So I had a little extra bump there. I flattened it out. Now it's straight. So this is really tedious, takes a long time, um, especially if you're doing a bunch like I am. But once it's done, then you have a mold that you can pretty much reuse over and over again, um, providing you're careful when you unmold your pieces. Um, and because this is, some of you are wondering, well, wow, how, that's a lot of soap. How are you gonna get that off? Well, I basically just took it to the shower and grabbed my shower head and hosed it down. So it got rid of all the soap. It uh, did not unstick from the plastic because this is waterproof silicone. So it worked out really well. I hosed it down with the shower head and all the soap came off and let it dry overnight and voila it was perfectly ready for resin the next day so let me show you i'll show you the molds i did for the previous one i have it on a big board so that i'm able to move it around but as you can see here are the four molds these i used for the purple ones and even after I washed it, took the soap off, had resin in it, taken the resin out, it's still stuck to the plastic. Some of them are a little, some of them did come off a little bit. Um, like this one here in the bottom corner, it did come off. But all you gotta do is just put it back on, take your silicone and give it an outer, air, outer ledge and it'll stick right back onto the plastic. So. This you can reuse and reuse and reuse as many times. So that's that. So there you have it. Quick video of how to do your own free form mold. Um, it's very simple. Just go to the local hardware store, buy some plastic, get some silicone. Don't forget your dish soap. And there you have it. And then you're ready for uh, resin. If you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments uh, i'm very good at responding um, give it a thumbs up if you like it please subscribe to my channel and uh, let me know your comments or if you have any questions thanks for watching guys take care